Hey guys, what's going on? Today, Apple just released iOS 11.4 developer beta 4. So in this release, we're not seeing much new as per usual with iOS 11.4 beta releases. But with iOS 11.4, Apple is releasing ClassKit, uh, you know, which brings more improvements to teachers and students in the classroom, uh, a new app called Schoolwork, uh, for you know devices that are used for uh, teachers which are uh, enterprise devices and then also iPads that they hand out for students so uh, some more classroom uh, capabilities there they're also introducing AirPlay 2 uh, which was present on beta 3 uh, before this uh, I can't show you AirPlay 2 here on my iPhone 10 I don't have any AirPlay 2 enabled devices but it is here on beta 4 and I'm crossing my fingers that Apple can keep this uh, for the public release of 11.4 so 11.4 should be the last release of iOS 11 that we see of course, we might see iOS 11.4.1, .4 .2. Uh, and beyond, but we might not see iOS 11.5. I don't think any other iOS release has gone to iOS 11.5 or uh, a 0.5 release. I think the farthest it's gone is 0.4. And I'm really crossing my fingers that AirPlay 2 is in the final release, but also messages in iCloud, because that was promised at WWDC 2017. It's already May 7th of 2018, and we still don't have that feature except in the betas. So I'm really hoping that that feature does show up in the final release as Apple has promised it. It looks like they're perfecting a lot of stuff server side um, because I have been having some issues with uh, you know, reliability with messages on my iPhone staying synced with messages on my iPad and my Mac. So they're fixing some stuff on the server side. Hopefully they can have that fixed by the time uh, the public release comes around for 11.4. So guys, that's pretty much it. Stability feels excellent on this release. I've been using it all day. Uh, I just charged it a little bit, but the battery didn't sink too much after installation and after using it. My phone used to heat up when I first installed the beta. It doesn't seem to do that anymore. And uh, the stability does seem uh, very nice here, as it should with a very later uh, beta of iOS 11. So if you haven't installed on your device, tell me how it's going. Tell me if you have any bugs or glitches or if it's running pretty smooth. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. My name is Mike, and I'll see you in the next one.